Welcome to Crimpton Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Green No Cordless Vacuum Cleaner, model number GSC50. Link in the description box below if you want to pick this up. We'll have a quick look around the box. Remember, if you find the video useful, a like would be appreciated. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below and subscribe to watch more reviews. At the bottom here it says, four in one handheld stick vacuum, green your home from now on. Some information on this side, battery 200 watt motor, 23 kPa suction, but that's in the boost mode. So that will give you a runtime of around 18 minutes. And on the normal mode, you get 35 minutes. It takes four and a half hours to charge. One click to empty. On this side, it's letting us know where you could use the cleaner. Some more information on this side. The dust cup capacity is 0.6 litres, 12 months warranty. Okay. Green your home from now on. Smoke that. This is everything that's included inside the box. We get some paperwork, surprise flip to the back. It's important to remember this is an earlier model. So when you get yours, might not have this in because this is a promotional offer. Warranty card, instruction booklet, charger. Of course, I'm in the UK, so mine is a three pin one. It's a barrel type connector. Included a tool for cleaning the cleaner. That's to clean the brush. And they have a blade in there as well. So if you get any hair caught up around the brush bar, you could cut the hair with that. A spare filter, which is really good to see because when you wash the one in the cleaner, you have a spare one. Get some tools as well. A dusting brush, that's quite soft that. Should be okay on your keyboards and your screens as well. A nice size crevice tool, good to get into the side of the sofas and in the center console of the car. That's what it looks like from there. All the tools are click fit system. They could fit directly onto the body or of course at the end of the wand. My favorite tool in any cleaner, a mini motorized brush. It's got some charge points there. That's what it looks like from the bottom. It has a felt strip, quite a soft them, and it moves up and down. These are really good for pet bedding, your bed, the mattress, stairs, car footwell. It's got some screws on that side. And if you get hair caught up on that, of course they've provided this to cut the hair, or you could also remove the brush as well. It's got a lock on and a lock off. So you put a coin in there, twist it, and it would come out and then you just push it back in and twist it again. The wand, it's metal. I like the color on this. Again, click fit system. And as I mentioned before, so if I just get the crevice tool, it will fit at the end of there. And to remove it, you just push that and pull the tool off, or it would fit at the end of the machine the tools this extends just push that and pull it it's got over to any size you want i really like this type of ones that's what it looks like from there it has two charge points there just move this to a side the floor head has some brand in there it has a clear pipe so if you do get a blockage you could see it a clear window Three LED lights on each side, it has soft plastic. So if you do hit against any skirting board, it won't get scratched. That's what it looks like from there. That's what it looks like from there. The back there. It has some charge points there because this has its own independent motor. If I flip it over, two little wheels, an information sticker there. Power 1500 watt, that's the motor in there. A big felt strip at the back, two felt strips on each side. The brush, that's fairly stiff. They're soft, so it's suitable for hard floors and carpets, of course. To give the brush bar a further clean, you could see them two arrows there. You push that out and then pull it. It's removed. That's what it looks like from inside, if I just show you there, it has a center suction path. 
to place the brush bar back, you could see in there, there is a spindle. So it would only go on one way that has a cut out there. Hold on to this, push it outwards, place that in, and then push that. There we go, it's in. If I just get the main body, put it on, clicks into place. That's good to do your stairs now. To remove it, push that and pull onto the main body. If you look at the bottom, actually, let's look at the bin because it's got some information there. 200 watts, so this has its own 200 watt motor and that has a 15 watt motor. Charging port, it's at the bottom. So if I press the charger gun, one second. It would fit there. And the battery would start charging, of course. The handle is plastic. The on off trigger there. If I just turn it on. I really like the fact that you don't have to hold on to the button, you just push it and it stays on, and then you push it again to release it. So the top there, it's got some battery indicators there. Let's turn it on again. Plus, of course, is for boost mode, and that is minus for normal mode. Air outlet on this side, one on this side. At the top, some branding. The bin, it has a sticker on it, some information. To empty the bin, just pull that down, a little latch. To close it, just push it up. And to give it a further clean and to get to the filters, you need to push this top button and pull it. That's what that looks like from inside. That's giving us some information regarding the battery. It's got them connector points there. That's what it looks like from there. It's got some connector points there. Now to get to the filters, it's got a lock on and a lock off there. And you just twist it. Oops. That's where the motor is in there. Then you can access the filter. Just twist and pull. It's a HEPA filter. The HEPA filter must be washed once a month. Make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in, but they have provided a spare one, so that's good. Oh, if you use your cleaner a lot more, maybe check it every two weeks, because if you don't wash your filters, the cleaner will lose performance. The shroud can be removed as well, you just pull it out. And that can be washed as well. Again, make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in. That's what it looks like from the bottom. You could give the bin a further clean as well from inside. To put everything back, just fits into place. Make sure you don't get the bin wet because you could see the connector points there. The filter would fit in and it's got them things that you just twist it back on. The motor would go back on like so as well. You line it up and then just twist it towards the lock position, like so. That's locked. To put the handle back with the bin, you could see the little latch on there. That would match up with the little cut out at the back there. And you could see at the top as well. Just push that up and push that back. And it locks into place. And wand. That would only go on one way, clicks into place. Then to remove it, you'd push this button here and pull. If I put that on, like so, and you could extend it to whatever height you want. And then we get the mini motorized brush, I guess, fit on there. So, if I remove that, and we put the main head on. I want to see if it does stand up by itself, actually. It does stand up by itself. Okay, time to get on with some cleaning. But before I do some cleaning, even though the battery does have some charging, it is recommended to fully charge it before your first use. So I will put it on charge and then we'll get on with some cleaning. I've charged the battery. I've put down some cornflakes. For the first go, I'm going to be using it in the normal mode. And then if I need to, I will use the boost mode.
it's just moved two big flakes at the back. I'll just pick this side up. I don't need to use boost mode because it's picked up in the normal mode, but I will use the boost mode on this side just to see. It's picked him up fully. He yeah, hasn't bought anything back. I'm going to try the cleaner on a thick pile carpet now. I've put down cornflakes and this time I've included some rice in as well. Again, I'm going to use it in the normal mode first and then the boost mode. That is really impressive. It's picked everything up. I'll try this bit on boost mode, which I don't need to really, but just to show. Picked everything up. Okay, I'll just pick the rest of this up. Well, as you can see, it's picked everything up from the carpet. And if I quickly show you the bin, it's got the rice in there, the cornflakes, and it's picked up some carpet fibers as well. Overall thoughts, let's get the negative out of the way because it's just one. Would have liked to see a removable battery because then you're not waiting around while one is charging, you can use the other one. Apart from that, we think this is a really good cleaner for the price. At the time of recording, it's on for £130 on Amazon and they have a coupon code as well. Performance is really good. It comes with all the tools you need. It's easy to maintain. The battery life is decent. We didn't need to use it in boost mode often as the performance in normal mode is really good. On a full charge, we got just over 30 minutes, but that depends on the tools you use. 
the green note cleaner can stand up by itself. We really like that. If you need to pause your cleaning, you don't have to think where to put it like you have to with other cleaners. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the only cordless stick vacuum cleaner that can stand by itself. We have the shark cordless cleaner, but that falls over. In our opinion, it's a solid cleaner for the price. Link in the description box. Any questions, ask me in the comment section. If you found the video useful, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.